Hello, 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 everybody. Um, Chris here with another one of my tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you a call of duty, well not a call of duty, um, a video transition you can do between two videos that have the same, same specs, basically, not really specs, but you'll see what I mean. So, um, let's get to it. So basically this is what I'm going to try to achieve here. Just a little transition like that in between this clip and this clip on bog and this clip on wet work. Um, so I just kind of wanted to fade into a still with a still image with an effect and then fade back into that. So what I did was, let's delete these dissolves. What I did was I found a still frame that I liked. I found this one. You go to modify freeze frame and that'll make it a freeze frame just like that it'll make it a freeze frame and then what you do is you open up a new project drag drag the freeze frame into here and make it just one frame long like I did here you can't even see it. it's really small it's right here and you export it file export quicktime conversion quicktime movie still image and then you just name it whatever you want. I already saved it. And then you open up Photoshop or whatever editing you um editing software you have. Make a selection around the gun. I did a rough selection previously before I started this tutorial. But um just a rough selection. I did this probably minute. It took me a minute to just make a quick selection around this. So once you do that, have your selection around the gun, you're gonna want to go to select inverse and that'll invert your selection so instead of being around the gun it's around the whole it's around it's around the gun but it's also around the whole background so when you delete it just the gun pops up and you hit command D and that'll deselect everything so now you have your gun as you can see I have a few little faults here like right up here and the guns kinda of pointed but that's alright like I said I'm only doing this um, I'm doing this very quickly if you want to achieve the best results you're obviously going to take a lot more time on it, but um, like I said, you can like clone the ammo here and add ammo, do whatever you want. But um, yeah, so now you have your still image. What I like to do is you can go up to filter and you can add um, an effect to it. So this will open up if you click one of the effects, it'll open up this effect win effects window. You can a bunch of different effects. I'm using Photoshop CS5 if you guys are wondering. So just pick an effect you like. Pick this fresco one. Hit OK. And you see it changes to um uh sort of like um it's like the tones are turned down a little. I did this so because if you look in Final Cut that the camos are different. Well they're the same, but it's a little lighter and a little darker uh, a little darker in different clips. This one's darker, this one's lighter, they're both blue tiger. So what you do is after you have made the effect and you're done. Just go to file, save as, save it as whatever you want. So I'm gonna save it as gun effect trans for a transition. And you hit OK. And that'll save it as a PNG. And then what you're gonna want to do is go up to File, Import, Files, Pictures, or wherever you saved it. I saved it in my pictures folder and gun effect trans png choose and now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to spread your clip out a little drag this to the track above it slide it over to where you where it looks good you know so bring it in now that's a little long so i'm just gonna i'm gonna short it shorten it down a little so to about mm, there and we'll drag it over and now before you render it, you want to highlight the video and hit Command T, which will put two dissolves on each end of the clips. And you go ahead and render it. And you've d basically done the transition, as you can see. Like I said, it's I did it in very minimal time, but um, I'm sure you guys will take a little bit more time doing it. And... And uh, I'm sure it'll come out better if you use in any of your montages. Please um, post it as a video response to this video. Let's we'll see how it turned out. And uh, that's basically it.
Thank you, guys.